Hello, I'm Kainzon, the Tech Pro, and today I'm going to teach you how to write stored procedures using SQL Server in less than five minutes. I personally cannot believe it when I learned how to write stored procedures in SQL Server. Uh, sometimes, even if you're a programmer or a new DBA, you may think that writing stored procedures is very difficult. <laughs> Right now I'm going to show you that it's really one of the easiest things you can do in a database. So go ahead to open uh, Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. I'm using 2008 R2. Remember the, the data we have in Excel, you can import it into SQL Server. That I've done, I've imported this data into SQL Server. If you would like to have this data, uh, look at the link in the description below and then you'll be able to download this data and use it to follow along. All right, so uh, I imported it to a table in database KTT Pro and the table is called DBL members. As you can see, if you go ahead to right click and say select top 1000, you see the data is right there. Okay, so how do you write a stored procedure? First, know that stored procedures are simply queries that are saved. So if you have, if you know how to write a query, uh, this time you are writing a query and you are saving it right there inside your database so that you can re reuse it. So what you'll do, you just click on your database, uh, expand it, and then go ahead to expand programmability. And then the first one there is stored procedure. If you expand it, you find out that you don't have anything except system stored procedure. So what do you do? To create your first stored procedure, just right click and then say new stored procedure. All these are very confusing, there are a whole lot of crap. So just go ahead to select everything and delete. And that is it. So let's write our first stored procedure. Take note of the syntax, you simply say create a procedure and give it a name. Let's call it a first. Okay, let's just call it get all members. And then you say us. After you enter us, then you write your query. That is as simple as that. So let's just say select star from TBL members. So if you execute, good. So it have created this stored procedure. So it, it, it doesn't execute as a query, but if you go ahead to highlight just the query there and execute, it actually executes and gives you what you want. But now we've executed this create stored procedure statement. So let's go ahead to check. So just uh, do a refresh here, refresh, and then expand. You see, uh, get all members stored procedure. How easy is that? So that is so fine. The next thing we are going to do is to write a stored procedure that actually takes a parameter. Let's assume you want to update uh, my name or my surname to something else. Let's look at our data again so that we'll be able to make updates. This time we are writing a stored procedure that will accept a parameter. So let's see. You see, KTT Pro is a full name and now I'm going to write a stored procedure that takes a first name and then changes the KTT Pro to something else. So it follows the same. What I normally do is to open existing stored procedure by right clicking and say modify. So it adds all this junk. Uh, you might either leave it or you can just delete it. For me, I like deleting them to avoid confusion. So Alter statement, change it to create because we want to create a new one. Uh, we say updates member. But this time, uh, the name of the start procedure is update member. Before the AS, before the as keyword, just say, uh, and just just specify the, the parameter you want to use or just like the, the, the function, the, the argument to the start procedure. So let's say our first name. Take note that always use at to start the variable name. At first name, Vaca50. Okay. 
vaca 50 and then we want to make update so of course you know how to write up this statement if not just look at the previous video from the link in the description below so that you see how to write queries so you just say updates tbl members sites uh, sites first name equals at first name. Take note that at first name is different from, from first name. At first name is a parameter that has to be provided by the user. At first name where we have KTT Pro. Where first name equals KTT Pro. If I'm too fast, please uh, pause the video or just rewind it. So at this point, we have a start procedure that says update member, and I'm going to execute it and command uh, complete it successfully. So if we refresh on start procedures, we'll see the two start procedures. Now, if you right click on any of them, you actually can execute the start procedure. So let's execute the first one, execute. It brings out this dialog box, just say okay and then it executes as you can see but the second one let's execute it and we see that it will ask us to enter a parameter so let's uh, execute yes so this is it uh, parameter first name so value I'm going to specify uh, let's say kind son that's my name and then I say okay um, it has a cute so how do I know if I go to look at all members again uh, all members uh, let's take a look where my name was KTT Pro uh, let's see so you can see record 12 change so this is exactly how to write that procedure let me just show you one thing you can do but it's not necessary delete all this crap to avoid confusion you can use uh, begin and end to surround your query okay so if I execute it's fine it's also okay so that is how to write start procedure if this has been informative for you uh, subscribe just click on the subscribe button down there and like the video share with your friends I remain kind on the tech pro and I want to thank you for joining me